Hello, in this video we're going to go over this interesting series problem. Let S be the set of all positive integers that have no digit 7 when written in base 10. Prove that the following series converges. It's the sum of the reciprocals of all of these numbers. So I'm going to go over the solution to this problem and then I'll give you an exercise at the end to see if you understood this solution. At this point you may want to pause the video think about this problem and come back to check the solution when you are ready. So let's write down the first few terms and let's try to approximate the terms of this uh, series and then let's see if we can show that it is in fact bounded which means it would be convergent. So the series would involve a bunch of terms with one digit so 1 over 1 all the way to 1 over 6 then plus 1 over 8 1 over 9. So these are eight numbers all of them are going to be less than one if you look at the, the sum of the numbers that are two digits we start from 1 over 10 1 over 11 and we get to 1 over 99 so those are all of them are less than 1 over 10 how many of these do we have we have two digits a and b the first digit could be any of the numbers 1 through 9 except for 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 9. So everything from 1 through 9 except for 7. So those, those are 8 possibilities. And the second digit B could be anywhere from 0 to 9 excluding 7. So we have to exclude 7. So that means there are 9 possibilities here. So that would be 8 times 9 over 10. If you look at the numbers that are 3 digits, so we have 1 over 100, 1 over 101, etc. And the last one is 1 over 999. We have 3 digits A, B, C. There are 8 possibilities for A, anywhere from 1 to 9 except for 7. So that's 8 possibilities. B would have 9 possibilities and C would also have 9 possibilities. And then all of them are less than 1 over 100. So this would be 8 times 9 over 10 squared. And so on. So in general, let's say SN is the intersection of S and the numbers between 10 to the power of N minus 1 and 10 to the power of N. So what is that? It means all integers in S that have n digits. If you have n digits, you have a1, a2, all the way to an. The first digit can be any of the numbers from 1 through 9 except for 7. So there are 8 possibilities for that. The rest of the digits are going to have 9 possibilities. So that means there are 8 times 9 to the power of n minus 1 numbers in Sn. So if you look at the sum of 1 over x, when x is in Sn, this is going to be less than or equal to 8 times 9 to the power of n minus 1. That's how many elements we have in this set. And the largest element in that set is 1 over 10 to the power of n minus 1. Because that's the first integer with n digits. And this is 8 times 9 tenth to the power of n minus 1. Now if you look at the sum of 1 over x when x is in s, this would be less than or equal to the sum of 8 times 9 over 10 to the power of n minus 1 in ranges from 1 to infinity. Because the sum of the reciprocals of elements in Sn is less than 8 times 9 over 10 to the power of n minus 1. And n would be the number of digits, so it could range from 1 to infinity. Now the nice thing about this is that this is a geometric sum. Common ratio is 9 tenth. So the sum would be the first term, which is 8, divided by 1 minus common ratio. And if you evaluate this, this is going to be 80. So we just showed that the sum of the reciprocals is less than or equal to 80. Now note that all of these uh, terms of this series, 1 over x, they are all positive, which means being bounded is the same as being convergent. So therefore, 
the sum of 1 over x when x is in s converges. And in fact, it converges to a number less than 80. And that is the end of our solution. Now, I would suggest that you work on this problem, which is something similar to the problem that we discussed, except that it's asking us to find all p for which the sum of 1 over n to the p when n is in s and s is the exact same set that we just talked about converges. So for what values of constant p does this series converge and for what values does this series diverge? If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out the rest of the videos on my channel and I will see you in the next video.